All right, episode four, Sharky and Josh. Five? Showtime Shark. Episode five. That's what I said. Boom. Because five. Yeah. Okay. Let's start over. Let me start. <clears throat> real. Real. All right. Episode five. Should five. Showtime with Sharky and Josh. Absolutely. All right. So, what movie do we watch tonight? Blue Bayou. What time is it? It's early. I got Jesse fed. I'll get her to school. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, mm. got it. Okay. Antonio LeBlanc. How you get a last name like that? Uh, I was adopted. Is that what you wear today? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. It's a good choice. Come on, let's go. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from about an hour north of Baton Rouge. One by one, we build an empire. Where are you from? Like, born. Uh, I was born in Korea. I got this baby on the way, and I'm just looking for another job. Kathy? Hey, where are you going? What's where going you on going here? Hey, this is not your kid. Let's go. Hey, did I say Bye, you baby. can leave? Stop. I'm going to tell you one last time. Please. Okay, that's it. What's going on? Let him go. 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 I posted bail. He should have been out by now. He is not here anymore. I stuck him. What? I just don't understand how they can deport him. I was brought here when I was three. Can't we do something about this? I mean, listen to him, look at him, he's American. ISIS is targeting people like you, adopted or not. I've been here for over 30 years. You also have a criminal record. Oh, Lord. What are you here for, bro? Come on, what's here for? Nah, I usually charge 5,000 to start. Are you getting kicked out? Nah, baby girl. I ain't going nowhere. Yo, Antonio! You know the drill, bro. Go, 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 go. You know I'd go to the moon with you, right? Keep on! I ain't scared. You can depart voluntarily. Or you can stay and appear. But if the judge don't rule in your favor... Let go! You can never come back. I'm not leaving my family. Blue Bayou, directed, written, and acting, starring Justin Chan. Yeah, I just right? I just learned that yeah. the the director was also the the, the actor. actor. Yeah, and, no. Uh, Fake tattoos. That's crazy. Just saying. Just saying. But I'm okay yeah, with it. Right. I, don't I mean, know. it's a commitment. <laughs> it's a it's a minimal issue, but I had it when I was watching. But okay, let's let that ride. So what are your thoughts, man? But first of all, let's talk about the story. What's the story about? So the story is there is a uh, man, his wife, mm. and their adopted daughter, and they are about to have another child. Right. No, it's a, it's the wife's daughter. It's the wife's daughter. It's his. His adopted. Well, he didn't adopt her, right? Yeah, but he's like the de facto dad because but he's, he's around. The, he's the father yeah. in mm -hmm. this situation. So okay. it's his stepdaughter. Yes. And, and they're, they're about to have... A second a child. child. Yep. Right. Okay. And there's it's a story about like the bonding between uh, his stepdaughter and himself, mm. and uh, maintaining his relationship through financial difficulties and a mm -hmm. a kind of checkered past. And is struggling um, in New Orleans. That's yes. part of the movie. But what what ends up happening is our man finds out that he's not a citizen because he's been adopted. Right. Since he was three years old. Yes. And then he ends up getting deported. Right, so his adoption paperwork was never done correctly. Yeah. So he never became an act or an actual citizen. Right. So now that is going to be used against him later in the film. Mm -hmm. So the movie is like about um, a father of a child who uh, he's a cop, and him and his partner are like they end up playing a role in getting this guy deported, who is with the baby mama. Yes. To use the parlance of our time. Yes. Right. So, um, so basically, that's the story. So there's a this dude who is. Uh, who's a Korean of Korean descent. He is adopted. His name is Anthony LeBlanc. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he, he's... Love that name, by the way. I know. That was it's solid, pretty good. Solid pretty name good. choice. Seems New orleans -y. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, he's married to a white lady, and um, he's getting deported, and he's trying to keep his family together, but he has a checkered past, and they don't have a lot of money. And uh, 
Yeah. So that basically this movie is based on a true story. Right. Of like a lot so of people who loosely are loosely like, based on a true story as uh, in yeah. I don't think anything but the fact that a man that was uh, adopted here at a young age and in and out of foster homes was mm-hmm. then deported. I don't believe anything past that point is necessarily accurate the way yeah. the film depicts it. Right, right. So it's that with drama elements, would you say? Sure. Okay. So we can just get this out of the way because I don't want to stay on it. Yeah. The story's not great. The story's, right? The, the story story's has a lot of problems. Yeah. The story. Just the story. Just the interpersonal story between Correct. the dude so and his So you, you, have, you have problems with authority figures being seen as like surprising heroes and yeah, a lot of people just doing the right things in situations where that's not necessarily like depicting like it's not depicting the situation in a way that you feel that this is dire straits right like right. people are just like there's doing a lot the of right leeway things. there's a lot of like it's too yeah. much leeway there's a lot of leeway for um for actual events to pander to a not exactly a pleasant end. Would you say that this is another... You have an ice friend. Yeah, there's an ice friend in the movie. Like, and he's making jokes about it, and that's that feels a little weird. Feels a little weird while yeah, he's getting... Yeah, like you're humanizing, and I get it, right? You're humanizing people. Mm. But in the same sense, the story humanizes the... Inhuman contraptions of society. The machine Yeah. that these people are, are contributing to. Right. Right. And I'm not saying that people that work for ICE or people that are police officers aren't people. Mm. What I'm saying is you don't make those institutions look like there's a humanistic. Right. Yeah. Because in that, in that situation, like it, it, the movie ends up with a family being separated. Mm. Right. Like that's that's without going too far into it. That's what mm. happens. You don't need to paint the separating force as humanistic. Sympathetic. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Right? No, and I'm sure I other people it. will have that opinion. But the reason why I want to get through that really quick is because this movie's point is not to be a great story. Right. right? It's, it, a, like, it's it, a purpose movie. It's a right. purpose driven movie. So it's an agenda movie. See that's it's, the it is an agenda right? movie. Like, right. So there are movies that have this purpose of, of like focus. Yeah. And then there's a movie that's a narrative, right? That's yeah. just the narrative is the focus. Right. This is not narratively focused. Even though the narrative is the main thing, of course, because sure. what you can do, you're not gonna just do a documentary. No, because then it would so, be a documentary. Yeah. I so, believe it was constructed in a way that it was palatable palatable to people like myself. Okay. okay. Right. The people that yeah. that would look like me from my class demographic, okay. uh, so that they so, can not just immediately buck against it with based off what they're saying. And I feel like that maybe was part of the decision. Part of the decision. That's to make these... that's a wild swing at yeah. why. Okay. Those choices were made, in my opinion. There's some wild choices there. Like there's the scene. To the spoiler alert, there's a little bit of a scene at the end when the his ice friend is like, "If you run, I'm not going to chase you." And it's like, sure. I don't, I'm not so sure that an agent of ICE would be so, again, sympathetic. Yeah, you're, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you're losing your job. Yeah, like, it's, that's like, not a thing. I don't, yeah. I don't believe that for a second. I also don't believe that the cowardly police officer uh, that um, ends up doing what he does mm. would take that move upon himself yeah. to act in that way. It just, it's just, it, it's just not the point. It's right. not the point right. of this. The point, okay. the point is this, is for people to watch and be like, holy shit, people get deported that yeah. have lived here since they were three years old don't and know were adopted, country, they were don't, brought yeah. here. Don't know the language. Yeah. That shit is hardcore, man. It's yeah. brutal. But um, that said, I thought that the uh, emotional center of it, the Justin Chan's performance, I thought that that was solid. Oh, I love I it. I thought that yeah. he was very yeah. heartfelt. The acting was very good. One of the strengths of this movie, despite the narrative being kind of weak, is the fact that every motion is not wasted. There is no, no there's no fat to trim. You no, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in terms of like the actual acting um, between Alicia Vikander and Justin Chan, like the, the characters really do resonate with both of those players. I thought that like they really did, were in that moment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? absolutely. Um, and that kind of felt like it was in line with the agenda of the movie. Sure. Because yeah. you can't tell that agenda movie without the emotional center so I get it I get it but that said again the ephemera of it to me was just a little 
it, it just felt like very like in it felt nebulous you know what i mean sure. it felt like yeah like you got this weird racist mom in there you know what i mean which is like i don't really know what that's about and like i don't know it's just there's a lot and okay so also there's anyway there's nitty-gritty stuff that i'm like so wait this lady's a physical therapist but they're poor like i don't understand that part but whatever sure i'll give you that maybe she's an, an aide or a tech not important not important um did you think that the addition of like the impending baby like that was also like that, that's a thing right I mean, it's a time bomb situation right? a lot to, of it is like them. emotional pulling yeah. though right do you so feel that way you're, you're you're using the word that i would say is what i like most about this movie is mm. emotion it's visual emotion, the acting. Um, it's very, very well done. What this did is you a think about beautiful the, movie. So visually, you wow. were into it. Those lighting setups were insane. They were. They, they were, were absolutely insane. The set design was insane. Um, everything about it. Uh, what did you Absolutely think about, like, movie. it looked grainy? Did that you was like nice the grain of it? film graininess to it. And there was, like, a hair in the corner? There was at the bottom. I was yeah. like, "Is this the projectors or is this?" No, because it was cutting in, in and out with, yeah. the, with the scene changes. Sure. So I was like, "Okay, they're going for a feel. They're going yeah. for like a, a no, legitimate I think they hit like, it. reference." Like, I liked it. I yeah. liked it a lot. I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, I like that. I mean, it was handheld at the right moments mm -hmm. in the right ways. It was super close. Like these are all things that are hitting really well right now. Yeah. As far as like that look is concerned, mm. and they did it well. They executed it perfectly. And the underwater scene. What did you think about that? Loved it. I thought that was yeah. really, really wonderful. Good. Absolutely like, wonderful. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, emotionally -like. and visually, this movie hits its marks. I'll give you. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Story wise, like yeah, man, whatever. It's not the point. The agenda again. It's still a fun. It's still a fun story. It's still a fun movie. Mm. Not fun. Not fun. It's still a good movie. You right. should go see this. Yes, I agree. I agree. But just don't expect the to be blown away by some like hard hitting story. Yeah. Right. Like mm. it's it's an experience. It's an, it's an experience that's supposed yeah. to leave you thinking about a topic. In terms of this movie, in terms of um, the visual choices echoing the narrative. Right. Do you feel as though that those two matched? Because, like, Big Frida's on the soundtrack, you know what I mean? Like, there's sure. a lot of, like, and then there's the whole aspect of a tattoo shop in the movie. There's, right. like, a lot of stuff in there that I'm, like, I'm not so sure that, like, you could shoot this any other way. You know what I mean? Like, it has to be told in this gritty style. Like, it also reminded me of New Orleans in that grit. It did. No, yeah. it, it, it portrayed uh, the location well, too. Um, I mean, they use a lot of really nice, like, <clears throat> excuse me, backlighty, like, mm. like, uh, what do you think about, sunset. Like, the smears? There's, like, a lot of blur in a lot of the scenes. <coughs> I was going to mention that. Uh, yeah. I don't know what lenses they're shooting on, mm. but they were getting, like, triangular bouquet mm. out of it. But I thought was just absolutely the life. You're feeling it. I was so into it. Yeah. Um, and then it does go to like circular, so they're not shooting anamorphic there. Mm. Um, and it could be like a purposeful thing that they were doing. Um, I don't know what lenses do that. Someone can tell me in the comments. I don't care. <laughs> um, but I thought it was great. Yeah. No, I loved it. I thought it was really good. Oh, yeah. That's my question. I remember. You might want to. Do you think that this is an example? of a movie that we love that doesn't love us back. Nah, it loves me a little bit. Loves you a little bit. Yeah. Because there's a little bit of a pandering to it. But yeah. the emotion, like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I wept a little bit, like, shudder, like, body shudder weeping. I think at, at the... I'll give you the end. That was a thing. Spoiler. Uh, yeah, there's... It, it doesn't end on a positive note. No. But uh, I there were some parts where I was like, I'm totally being manipulated by this movie. And I'm in. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I went with it because it's like, all right, this is where we're going. Might as well just go. But I was asking myself while I was watching it, does this count as a movie that doesn't love me back? And I think it doesn't. I think you're right because it still hits all the, 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 the weird light moments. Yeah. So I don't know if it's as dour yeah. as, a, as a movie like Dancer in the Dark or any Lars von Trier movie. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, yeah. Those things are like, those don't yeah. love us back, but we love them. I was expecting it to yeah. not love me back. Me too. And have a a decline of our main character. Right. I was I thought it was going to end in a suicide. Breaking under the stress. Uh, and you know what? Even even then, it doesn't not love me back. It's it's a romanticized yeah. thing at okay. that point. Yeah. Um, and That's it, where the narrative part 
plays the super scene to like the actual yeah. like purpose of yeah. the film. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm with that, man. Uh, I, I'm not saying if they did that that this would have been a better film. Not every film needs to like stomp on my chest, right? <laughs> yeah. Like it doesn't. I, I think it did what it was supposed it. to yeah. do. It was supposed to raise awareness on a topic. Yeah. Um. I I was not aware of it. I was not aware of that. Well, I mean, we knew about those specific things. Yeah, I was not aware of that. Um, And it did so in an extremely artful way. Mm -hmm. The way that is beautiful about cinema. Yeah, is it it can it can give you these ideas and thoughts and and suggestions Mm -hmm. in a very artful way that stick with you. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think that's good, good on them for doing it. Yeah. And more people should see it. I think I loved it. I think yeah, as no, I move I, away. Yeah, I, 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 I listen for the visuals alone. Yeah. I, I, me and Amanda are definitely going to go see this. Okay. Right. Just just for the for the visual experience of this movie, this is beautiful. Agreed. This is Zolo level beautiful. Yeah. Agreed. It definitely because yeah. it had the similarity. Zolo, grain. as far as I'm concerned, Zolo's, was the most beautiful movie I've seen up to this point. Not a beautiful wow. story, yeah. but beautiful visuals. Beautifully shot. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm with it, man. Yeah. Good movie. Good movie experience. Absolutely. Well done. All right. Episode five. Episode five. Done and done. Good work, Shark. Good work. We did it. <laughs> <laughs>